about smartphones. The thing is, smartphones are great gadgets, I will have to say. These phones, this is mine by the way, and are awesome ways to actually do lots of great things in the whole wide world. I'll stop the mic for a second, guys. However, the thing about these uh, smartphones is that they seem to have always some sort of unique feature in them that makes us want to keep looking at the screen. Like, oh no, it's locked! Oh no, it's locked! And then like, uh, you say, JD, it's unlocked! Yeah, like all those situations. Nowadays, all these smartphones, oh, you can't see them. Nowadays, all these smartphones seem to have these cool features like voice memos. You can literally tell the time of it. You can go on the internet and Google it up. This is not, this is connected to the internet right now, but I'm in the, another room. It can literally connect to your other devices, and it can even do lots of other great things too. Like messaging someone, or animating, or making a meeting, or listening to a podcast, or translating, or downloading things, or going to download more app, and tracking your fitness, and what's the weather today, and tuning your instrument, and measuring how far away from something is when you don't have a ruler. And literally, you even have dictionaries and emails built in, too. So, even calculators, too. So, there's nothing you can't do with a smartphone. I mean, you can probably live without a smartphone. Yes, that's true. But, however, there's almost nothing a smartphone can't do. Also, one of them is, like, trying to chat. With your, when you're trying to chat with the smartphone yourself, like, uh, let me try something. Hey, Siri, let's chat. Go ahead. I'm listening. Are you an AI? And it opens something else. The thing with these uh, smartphones is that there's lots of wrong things that seems to go on about them. Smartphone industry is worth 320 billion euros in 2020, meaning that this smartphone, the industry that created it, cost 320 billion euros. And there are more than six billion users of smartphones everywhere in 2020, oh, 2021, like the whole wide world, the world wide web is right here in this little smartphone. And in the UK, there are 99% of 16 to 34 year olds, they always, they have almost always a smartphone. Smartphones! And the average person spends 4.8 hours a day on their smartphone. I actually use less, to be honest. Currently, this is the f first time I'm actually using it this week. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. One of the things about this is that there are lots of reasons why you don't need to have a smartphone, why you could just ditch your smartphone, like, throw it away, or you could, like, keep it in your pocket or something and just try to do lots of things with it. And now, let's start with the affirmative position. Now, a smartphone stops you from having so many good hobbies in real life. I mean, sure, you can always use it to do lots of great things, too, and do lots of great ideas, and lots of great photos, and all lots of other great things, too. However, lots of things about the smartphone is that there is some... <clears throat> uncontinuous and unwanted benefits that seems to be going on throughout the whole wide world whenever we're using these smartphones at all. It stops you from having fun in real life, whether it's a pursuit of a hobby or playing with your cat. By the way, he's right there and he's nice. Number two, we have some health problem issues. There's some health issues going on right here and the thing is, health problems have lots of problems here like smartphones it turned out there's this government study where there was like a usage of smartphones and lots and lots of people seemed to start using them and then they studied people who didn't use it as much and they found out that the people who didn't use it as much actually had a higher chance of living and they had a higher chance of having less diseases and symptoms and all that stuff and three it stops you from relaxing always checking your phone all the time like <gasps> No messages? No messages? Mm -hmm. Nothing to worry about. No messages still? No? I wonder what happened. I wonder what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are accessible 24-7, 365 days a week, and let me just do some math on this. Uh, 365 divided 
five, seven, fifty two weeks. And fifty two weeks and a whole year every year if instead if you're available every day, every second, every millisecond of your whole year you will stop relaxing, which is something that you don't really want to have or do. Alright, in my opinion, smartphones are an awesome invention. One of the things about the smartphone is that there is lots of signals that seems to be getting around you all the time. They allow you to, not to, they allow you to keep in touch with each other for as long as you want. It lets you do fun things too, I'll get to that in a second. The thing is, lots and lots of things seems to be going on throughout this whole wide world. You can always access information quickly if you use this smartphone. You can always like, go, you can always go to podcasts. And, or you can just go to Google to find out the latest information, which is something that you should really do. Like, you should, like, Google up something up, and then you will be able to do lots of great things, and you have great information, and you're sharing friends, like, hello, I know all this fuck, I know all these random facts, I know that random fact, I know that. And you can always do that, and you can record a video with yourself, and upload on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, I guess it's kind of uh, taking a toll on me, isn't it? Number three, it's... Basically, the entertainment center at your fingertips. Now, I don't have any games on this phone, but the thing is, it will have every... You, if you do have games on the phone, then you will literally have an entertainment center in here. So the settings of Apple phones literally have a little separate function called a game center, which lets you do track your gaming time and all that stuff. And the App Store lets you download new ones. And the thing is, it's the right thing. It's right in your fingertips. As long as you're allowed to use it. And this is very awesome. That is all I'm going to say. So what do you guys really think about all this? Do you guys really think that this is that worth it? Or do you think we really should chuck something into the ocean? What do you think? Mm, it's your decision. And so... What are the results of this debate? So, here are the results. The thing is, most people think that you should not ditch your smartphone. That if you do ditch your smartphone, lots of bad things will happen throughout the whole world, and that will mean that you have no entertainment. You'll have no way to watch this. You'll have no way to watch this video without a computer. And so, time to drop the hats. Now, yeah. I'm sorry for my div, but most people say you should not ditch smartphones. And so that is the end of today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you guys in my next one too. So, shout out. Peace.